Yes, Dan. What are we doing? Well, if you believe it, Dan, we are going back in time. A time into the past. The very pinnacle of video game creation. We are playing Final Fantasy VII. Yeah. <laughs> hey, don't don't sound too enthusiastic there, Dan. I mean, keep calm. Oh, I'm sorry. No, I actually love this game. It's it's a classic. It's a it's a um, definite must. It, you have to play this game. Absolutely. And play the original. Don't play the garbage that's going to come out later in time. Oh, we don't know that it's going to be garbage. I mean, it's going to be garbage. It's a fucking remake, not a remaster. It could be the most amazing game we've ever seen. We it won't be. They're going to change the combat system. They're going to change the story. Ugh. You think they're going to change the story? They can't change the story. It would completely upset the universe. They're going to change a lot of the dialogue options, apparently. That'd be terrible. It will be terrible. Well, I mean, that's why nothing will ever be as good as the original. Never be as good as the original. That's true. Now, right off the bat, I have to say that as much as I love this game, I always had a hard time starting a new game because you always had to go through this extremely long opening sequence. <laughs> Yeah, restarting sucked. Um, I remember the first time that I played this game, um, I had just got my PlayStation, and I didn't know what a memory card was, mm -hmm. and we rented it. So my buddies and I played and played and played and played and played, and we got to just, I think it was like 12 or 13 hours in or something, somewhere around the time where you get Red 13 yeah. for the first time. Uh, or just after you get out of that building, I think it was. Anyway, and uh, we said, all right, well, I guess that's a good stopping point, and uh, we just shut it off. Mm -hmm. And little did we know that you needed a memory card to save your game. So oh, that's the worst. We came back the next morning, and uh, yeah, we didn't have a save file, so we had to play all that all over again. So I probably oh, played the no. intro of this game about 12 times. You know, that... Um, I'm just very familiar with the intro. <laughs> that, that's very true. I didn't even think about that. I mean, PlayStation 1, that was kind of the introduction to memory cards, wasn't it? On game consoles? Yeah. And it didn't carry over that far, because uh, I think what GameCube had a memory card, I think. Mm -hmm. Although I don't know why, because it still had cartridges that you could save on, didn't it? I think the, I think the memory card like gave you extra storage. Like, you could save larger game files. I don't know. Oh, okay. Saturn did that too, and it pissed me off because you could say you could save locally, I guess, on the system, but then you could get a memory card, and then it was almost essential for you to be able to save larger games like Dragon Force or Save Your oh, Moon. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because I only remember PlayStation that really like needed it. Yeah. Well, PlayStation. I never, well, I never owned an original Xbox, so the PS One and the PS Two had memory cards that you had to have, but the PS3 was all uh, internal hard drive, same with the Xbox 360. So like they weren't around long, but I remember they were like, it was such a huge thing and like, there was only so much space on it, so you could only keep so many games yeah. on your memory card. So it was like, oh man, what are we gonna rent next weekend? Cause we kind of got to clear some space. Oh, but we don't want to lose all our Tony Hawk progress. Cause that's an awesome game. <laughs> I was like, well, we're definitely not getting rid of fucking Grandia or Legend of the Guy or anything like that. Nice games. Great games. Mm -hmm. Go on. I love the combat system of Legend of the Guy the most out of any RPG that I've ever played. That's quite the statement. That's quite because the declaration. It's awesome because it's just you just use the directional pad up, down, left, right. But there were certain combos that you could put in that you had to discover because this was the era before the internet was all too big. Um, you had to discover moves. So, like, for each character, they had different move sets. So if you put in, like, right, right, left on, you know, character A. Oh, before I, uh, I don't want to interrupt you here, Dan, but I, here you go. I did you a favor. Oh, sweet. I love this guy. See? That's Where's awesome. my favorite. Yeah. Gun on Fuck Cloud. You know what I'm saying? Hey, no, he's not Cloud. He's Pat. Dan, please. Well, I know, but fuck Cloud. Oh, Dan, why? <laughs> anyway, go on. But yeah, no, I just love that combat system because it was like, depending on your level, your your move bar was only so big, could only fit in so many commands, and as you leveled up, you got a bigger bar so you could do bigger combos that would deal more damage. And But you would have to learn that all, like 
left, right, left might work for character A, but uh, it wouldn't be a move for character B, or mm -hmm. it would be a completely different move. Or, you know, I just I just love the combat system. In the game. It has a great story. Plus, my buddy and I, when we were, were going through it, um, we spent about an entire weekend just at the casino in that game. <laughs> cool. Yeah. Very cool. No, it, and that's kind of like with Final Fantasy VII. It's got that, um, it has the gold saucer later on. And then they got their own little mini games that are basically just kind of like repurposing the the games that you play uh, at, throughout the storyline. Yep, that's Which, true. And what's cool about it, I, I always like the... Um, the battle one where you just keep battling people over and over again to get points. Oh yeah, yeah. And yeah, I think right. yeah. I think that's how you get Cloud's uh, final um, limit breaker, actually. Yes. Omni slash. Yeah, it's been a while, but I, I'm pretty sure I've done that one enough to know that I need to get to do the gold saucer thing. But man, this was game was the gold saucer. Is it necessary? I think I don't remember like is it part of the story you have to go there and do something? Yeah, it is part of the story at one point you go there to kind of develop character develop and then something happened there. I think there's like cuz you're following Sephiroth the entire yeah. time and I'm probably not pronouncing that to everybody's standards here. I'm sorry, but I grew up calling him Sephiroth, so it's the same. And he um and he or just I think he went to the gold saucer for some reason so you follow him there. And uh, that's when you discover that wow, this place is pretty freaking cool. It's got yeah. I mean, I know, I know that the story leads you there, but was there anything to do in the Gold Saucer that you had to do for the purpose of the story? Not really. I mean, I think the it was I extras ask is because the casino in Legend of Gaia that you go to, you have to go there because <sighs> I can't remember why you go there, but you can't. It's like a tower, mm -hmm. and in the. The basement of the tower is only accessible by bringing, there's a guard there or whatever, and you have to bring them a special kind of bread that you can only win, or you can only get through the casino, so you have to play X amount of casino games to get X amount of whatever to get this bread. Mm -hmm. To give to the guy, to get him out of your way so you can get into the basement. So there's like, there's a reason that you have to go there, other than, oh, we followed this guy in there, and oh, no, no, he's not here anymore, and just walk through. Hmm, yeah. No, I've, I've learned with, like, the RPG-style games, there's always a purpose for going somewhere other than just showing off, you know, the eye candy that is the stage they made. Mm -hmm. But I, I, I really appreciated the way that they just narratively driven this game. I mean, everything had a purpose. There wasn't any wasted information. If it wasn't a part of the main story arc that you're on, it's a part of the backstory of the character, which made the story even... And, you know, okay, and correct me if I'm wrong here. There was a unique element to having such limitations on graphics and on music because when you didn't and by the way this were this was like mind-blowing graphics at the time oh yeah absolutely right it was like holy crap this this is not like, legend. i remember seeing the first time that uh God spins his sword around it's like oh my god look at the spin on that sword absolutely absolutely and and then they took these limited elements and they they emphasized music they emphasized story and nice. that's that's what made hey come on. that's what made these um games come alive and, and really become a staple of modern gaming like if you had to talk about the history of um sony of uh, playstation you have to say final fantasy 7 you have to absolutely yeah. so it, it 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 was such a, it was so much better a time i think it was a better yeah, time going back to just rpgs on playstation in general because that's the console that i had um mm -hmm. there was so many good ones that i played like like i said legend of the gaia grandia um what was another one we played? Uh, Chrono Cross? You played Chrono Cross? Cool. I can't remember if Chrono Trigger is the one that's on NES, right? Or that's right, yeah. And then I think Chrono yeah, Cross so Chrono had Cross. it on the CD or on the disc. I could be wrong. Yeah, so it was Chrono Cross that we played. I love that one too because of like the elements in that one. I never played that, but I always wanted to, and I think I'm going to now. Really? Yeah, uh, I would eventually play Chrono Cross. It was a great game. We're always looking for games to play here. I think that'd be awesome. Chrono Trigger, oh my god holds a special place in my heart it that game like okay because you're lucky well how, how old are you and your family like what was your brothers and sisters were you the oldest youngest oh there's only me and my sister 
So and, she's two years older than me. Okay, and I'm assuming that she's not the video game buff, right? It's probably... Oh, God, no. You should see her play Mario. It's funny. Okay. To this day, she still, like, winds the controller in a small circle when she wants to jump over all day. <laughs> see? So that's why I think you're very lucky. I grew up with two older brothers. So my video game experience was shut up, sit down, and just watch. And that was it. And <laughs> that happened with Chrono Trigger. That happened with uh, Final Fantasy VII. And it wasn't until, like, it was the lower system games that finally they would cycle out of that I would get to play. And they would get to play, like, Final Fantasy VII's and the Golden Eyes and stuff. And I was playing the, the barely coming out systems. But what, yeah, was, yeah. what was really cool, though, is that I ran into games like the original Chrono Trigger, Breath of Fire Whoa, look 2. look at stat jack. Oh, oh, how did that happen? Man, that, that soldier fight earlier must have really right? paid off. Like, uh, it's a little known hack in this game. I, I'm in. No, I... If you, if you beat that fight in a certain amount of time, you just get maxed out. Yeah, you have to press... You have to hold down triangle, circle, R2, yeah, yeah. and then... Up, down, up, down, left, right. And then a, B, a, B start. open up the, the, the top of the PlayStation and, and spit on it, and then it should work. <laughs> Please don't do that, people. Well, no, it's yeah, not like no, anybody plays this on a PlayStation One anymore, right? Maybe. Me? Yeah. There's 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 retro console buffs that still have their uh, their consoles that work. Actually, I think I still. I don't I don't have my original PlayStation, but I believe I have a PlayStation upstairs in my living room. That's awesome. Yeah, I do. Yeah, yeah, because we got one. Somebody was giving one away with a bunch of games, and I was like, "Oh man, I really want that." And then they I were giving it, it away. And I played Tony Hawk One for like an hour, and then I was oh like, "Oh my eh, god, that was enough." Yeah, they gave it away for free. I got the con console plus like twelve games, which were all fucking garbage, by the way. Oh well, they were, still. All, like, they were all like sports games and like Yu-Gi-Oh and. Ugh. Dan, be careful! Attack while its tail is up. I'm sorry, go on. It's gonna counterattack <laughs> with its laser. <laughs> I think we'll be okay. Yu-Gi-Oh on on the PlayStation One. Yeah. Hmm. There's some sort of Yu-Gi-Oh card, uh, cool. card game, I think. But yeah, yeah. So somebody was just giving that away, and I was like, "Oh yeah, I'll take that. Cool." And I think, yeah, like I said, I played it maybe an hour, and I haven't touched it again. But it still works. That's awesome, dude. I, so like, if I, I, I could find my, find my copy somewhere. of Legend of the Gaia, because I know I have it here somewhere in my house, uh -huh. I would totally play that on but the PlayStation. Isn't it terrible? Because if you if you get those things, you know, okay, there goes my weekend. There goes oh, my, yeah, there, sure. there, there goes yeah. my, my next three days of life. I'm, I'm supposed to be a responsible adult. It's not going to happen this weekend. No, no, it doesn't. Hey, speaking of PlayStations, just real quick. Yep. I was in middle school, and we, we had this friend, and uh, he, he was kind of kind of crazy, but, you know, he was a cool guy, whatever. And, you know, that's the time everybody's getting PlayStation for uh, Christmas. Everybody's getting that, right? Mm -hmm. Well, sure enough, Christmas came around, he got a PlayStation. It was awesome. About three months in, about from December to March, we find out that he got a puppy. And we're like, hey, that's cool, man. You got a dog. That's awesome. It's great. And then we'd go over to his house and we'd see the puppy. Hey, that's a good dog. Hey, man, let's play PlayStation. Oh, we can't play PlayStation. Why? I traded it for the puppy. What? You you, you traded it for the for the what now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. My, my uh, friend's uh, dog had puppies and I wanted one, so I traded him my PlayStation and my games. For the puppy and i'm like oh my god you made the wrong decision no kidding no kid and to this day we still give him crap about that and he was like yeah i was a kid i was stupid who cares yeah no kidding oh no you have 10 minutes run 